I do not think this has been open while I've been here before. What a treat. So it says founded 1839, College Building of the Evangelical Lutheran Missouri Synod, built by Saxon immigrants. 1839, moved to present site in 1912, shelter erected 1915. This side says the same thing in German. Hi, this is a treat. I didn't know this was open. Oh yeah. It. Uh, we opened it for these two days. It's never been open when I've been by before. So what a treat that is. I love the tree with the oranges on it. So, um, period. Yes, we, that's what we tried to do is, is get something that was period to. I love it. And so we have a old pew here. That's an old um, <coughs> church, um, excuse me, a school desk. Oh, a school desk. Yes. But the writing part's on the back. Yeah, they used to sit in a row and the, that one would have been in front of this one. Oh, gotcha. So the seat up for this one and the desk part <clears throat> for this one. Well, you had to write very uh, carefully so that you didn't disturb the people in front of you, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a little different discipline back in the day, maybe. Old books. Very, very cool. Look, that looks like a game of some kind. Teaching tools. Oh, uh, abacus. Abacus, yes. Very cool. So what else can you tell me? Well, it was built in 1839. Yeah? Uh, the, um, it was built as a seminary. Right. The, uh, the candidates actually <laughs> built the building, so the story goes. The candidates? Yeah, the, the students. Um, it, was a, it was a seminary from 1839 in December until 18... 49 or 50 when the um, what's that uh, say I you know, interrupted somebody, somebody you. interpreted it <clears throat> and I, I can't, can't remember what, I remember what they said <clears throat> I see the word God at the end <laughs> and I think I see throne I forgot what Gebin means I've heard that word before yeah uh, and uh, there's something like there Levens is life or something like I don't know, but uh, I mean, look at that lantern. Is that original to this? I don't know if it's original or near original. Period. Period, yeah. Yeah, because you would put candles uh, up there. Do you know what this one says? I do not. <laughs> oh, super cool. So in 1849, <clears throat> they moved the uh, seminary to St. Louis, and it has become what is now Concordia Seminary. Right. St. Louis, yeah. Yeah. It had several locations, and those are the pictures. Look at that old chair. There's a new chair here, but. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's an old rocking chair, actually. What's this a picture of? What so was it? The seminary, it moved to this. The first picture is the 1850 location. Uh, in St. Louis. St. Louis. And then the picture below it is the next location. In St. Louis. In St. Louis. And then the third picture is the more but the... Uh, so it was on Jefferson. Uh-huh. And then Concordia Seminary moved out to Clayton, where it's currently located. Wow. So it, it's been at four locations till it ended up where it is. Yeah. Wow. I did not know that. And then what's this one? So back in 1912, a group, or 1910, a group of folks got together and formed the <coughs> Perry County Lutheran Historical Society. Right. With the sole purpose of, of uh, preserving this building. 
So in, eight, in 1912, they moved the building from where it was. Where was it? It was on the more on the west side of town. So it's still this town? Yes, and they moved it over here to this location. Pulled it over here on four rollers and a team of horses. Wow. <laughs> that was in 1812. In 1815, they built a shelter. Over it to protect it. To protect it, so it's been here ever since. Yeah. So it has, it has stairs. Is there a second? There is a kind of a... The roof is peaked, so there's a space up there. And that's where the, the candidates or the students lived. Oh my gosh, that was so small. Yes. I mean, so, this itself is small. So it was like um, classroom, you know, average of four to ten students. Yeah, four would fit okay. Ten, not so not much. So much. <laughs> Those were the graduating classes. There was probably more, you know, there were probably, you know, several classes. Mm hmm. In one time. Who's this dude? C.F.W. Walther. Ah, he started the LCMS church, sort of. Well, he was one of the he was one of the ones that were instrumental in starting the synod. Yes. He's got such an interesting face. Does he not? <laughs> he does. Look at the pointy nose and his lips. Interesting dude. He's bald on top and hair sticking out. <laughs> and he's got this huge long coat. He like like it's too big for him. Kevin was Christiana Labor's captain. So the first pastor in Altenburg was uh, Pastor Labor. This was his sister's captain. Oh, and it's right behind this other one. Yes, yeah, she um lived for a couple of years um, and then died and, and her estate was left to Trinity Church and they used this as a school in that. Oh, it's too dark to see inside, but it's open. Yeah, I don't think we have any electricity. It is a cute little cabin. Nah, Labor Cabin. That gets you the spelling of the name. Wow. Can you imagine living in such a small space? So they have all these delightful bags open. As you stroll over to the church, there's the bus and the museum. How fun is this? I just had to take this stroll took all this effort to set these bags out. They're so cute with all the little snowflakes on them. I had to take a moment to appreciate it. Somebody did this for us.